Hello, it's Andrew County reading for 2015. Um, I'm going to use um, here totally um, the Angel Card decks from Dora Virtues. And um, as I channel during the daylight uh, that you can see, and also with all these um, angel energy flying in the area. So it's perform the angelic healing circle within the cards. And now here is the any reading. I will draw one card to represent each month. And I will see the energy from the card representing of the month. Two thousand fifteen is a year full of love and time for harvest. What are receiving the energy here is you have asking for so long since two thousand thirteen or mid of two thousand twelve. So actually this year 2015 is a time for you to kind of uh, get a kind of result and also to receive a certain um, um, benefit, yield, uh, product. Um, it's a harvesting year basically. Although it's a time for us to appreciate and enjoy the, you know, what we have done so far, uh, there's angels still trying to give us some messages, uh, that to reminding us that uh, we have to work for uh, you know tours to our life path. Um, life purpose angel card that is very very active, um, during the reading here. And actually, why I received the energy of 2015 here is really have to practice what you have learned, what you have received, what you have channeled. So, if you've been guided to provide intercard reading or to provide energy healing for the people, please go ahead and be confident. Uh, it doesn't mean that you need to be independent. It could be joining other light worker together and sharing the pl uh, space and sharing the resources with other people and uh, even though maybe 10 Reiki masters sitting together you have to believe that you have your own specialty and you have your own energy frequency to attract your own clients so actually you don't have to worry or you don't have to fear when you're sitting next with um, another uh, Reiki master for example so even though you've been trained with the similar or same modality or using the same tools, it doesn't matter because 2015 is a year for you to practice what you have learned, what you, ha what you can channel and also to practice what you believe. So if you believe in fear, then you practice of fear. If you practice of honesty, then you practice to just, you know, clear, be clear wind or be clear to give out the messages. If you believe yourself that you can do the best you can, you can just do the best you can uh, without fear. So which means that you can also join the other people together, work together as a team. Remember, as a true light worker, we should join the light together. It's not have a lot of uh, calculation, fear, or concern, or worrying others will get more clients than you. There is no such thing called more than or less than. So just believe yourself and be true to yourself. Just do the thing you can. And be honest to yourself that which you cannot do it because in certain period of time, in certain energy frequencies, sometimes we cannot do all the thing all the time you know it's just like having um uh, you know having lunch you cannot have all the food together you have to make a decision of what kind of dish that you're going to have what kind of sandwiches you're going to order you cannot have all the food into your stomach right 
Right, um, here is the Angel card reading for 2015. Um, now you can see the card layout in um, different energy field here. Um, oh, it's um, getting energies really uh, high and intense now. Um, to me, I can feel the vibration is, um, you know, keep on uh, growing and growing high up uh, from January to December. So um, the layout here is easy for you to associate, which start from January and then uh, up to December here, uh, in the clockwise direction. So that will be easier to refer to. And uh, before we look into the details of each month, that you can see um, is is combination of different card decks here, and uh, it is very funny. Every time when I do it in any card reading, that I can really see there's a certain kind of pattern here, um, you know, such as that you can see in December and June that will be Archangel Michael. I think it's quite similar to last year because time to time we do need a kind of affirmation and energy and confidence boost from the Archangel Michael. Uh, we do need this kind of protection um, regarding the Archangels that is uh, quite widely spread out in the January and uh, August. Um, here is the life purpose card that is in March, so it means uh, um, to me I can feel the energy is like you're going to make a kind of uh, determination or kind of a commitment into your life purpose here. So uh, a lot of uh, deep wisdom from mermaid and dolphin is here and uh, you can see the goddess card is also here, messages here. So um, it is uh, a very um, high vibration in 2015 uh, and all these energies come up with a kind of harmony vibration. Um, what I can sense here is like a lot of things that you need to work out and it is a really is a year that you have to work hard. Uh, what I can really feel here is like you know a lot of energy is really you know doing working something, um, you know practicing and doing things. Um, it is not the year of holiday, unfortunately. If you ask him which is the best month to have a holiday, I would say in this way: if you are really enjoying your work, if you really love your work, uh, you find it every day is holiday. We said so. You are not asking for uh, when is the time that I can escape from my job or escape from my career? When can I have a break? Instead, you are uh, really enjoy the, the work that you're dealing with here in 2015. Um, and especially that I can see um, by the later of the year that you were feeling more relaxed and uh, you enjoy so much here. Uh, and um, Oh, more thing is like uh, in the February here, I can sense there's some um, uh, good things is going to happen in February. Um, I know that will be uh, like some good news um, or kind of celebration of something here. Uh, if you are kind of person that uh, dealing with your training and study, uh, what I can sense is here that you will achieve uh, certain things here. Uh, so which means uh, by the middle of the year, May, June, that is a time that you can achieve something here. Um, no matter it's a kind of uh, your professional uh, membership, um, you know, your study, your training and things, uh, certifications, right? So uh, it's here. And uh, oh, about uh, love and romance here. Um, love and romance is quite strongly happening, um, you know, in the first half of the year here. Uh, it doesn't mean that there's nothing here. It means that, you know, there's <laughs> you know, a lot of variation here, all right? Um, generally speaking, 2015 is a really amazing year. Um, if you are able to see the picture that what I'm seeing here, uh, you know, channeling all this energy, uh, I'm sure that you have the same excitement as mine. Uh, I I am so grateful and, and I'm so excited really. Okay, let's flip the card right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big practice, right? We need to really uh, practice now. Okay, let's see. Uh, start from January here. Wow, Ganesh, yes. Oh my goodness. Right, um, so 2015, January, 
so that is the year about um, uh, yes here. So what I can sense energy of yes uh, that you tune in here. Um, um, okay, focus to what you plan to do and um, be confident. Um, a lot of uncertainty. Uh, you may you may carry on from uh, 2014, but Angel C is just trying to reconfirm with you that everything is give you the answer of yes. Uh, when you doubt, when you question yourself, Angel is he is telling you yes. Go ahead, trust yourself, be confident to yourself. Um, actually, January is a year to trying to balance your energy, which uh, which may carry some residues of the energy from 2014. So actually, um, in January is a time for you to recalibrate your energy, uh, wherever you, wherever you're from. But the energy will transform into a positive way that. Um, uh, it takes a bit of time in general for you to adapt and adjust that the energy is really that good and yes energy is so good and pure and and that is a month for you to really not only experience but really for you to adjust and that is the right energy for you um you may get rid of a lot of old habits. Uh, you may create a lot of new habit, new thing, new style of working. Uh, maybe even uh, get a new job, have a new career, uh, even uh, start your new business or expanding your business. You know, or uh, new projects, things. Uh, so all these are the new energy. So angels are here telling you, journey is really uh, is a fantastic start uh, of the year and. It is the, the 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 right place for you to say yes to everything. It doesn't mean you know yes for everything, but I mean like um if you question about uh, you know should I do this? Angels is trying to reconfirm if you say yes. Be confident to yourself. So when you have question about yourself, then you have to ask yourself what makes you feel better. That is a time is a lot of uh, inner self talk. So you need to really uh, look inside to ask yourself that um, should I go this? Should I go that? Simply ask yourself, how do you feel? Do you f do you feel comfortable to do that? Is this that is the thing that I'm happier to do it? If your friend asks you to go out, you ask, yeah, do I want to do more meditation or I want to go out? <laughs> well, it could be both. Yes, why not, right? So don't, have, um, you know, don't don't be um, too strict to yourself. Just ask yourself which way to feel more comfortable. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Um, Pepper. Wow. With amazing uh, month. Well, as I said, uh, there's a lot of uh, happy energy from uh, you know February um, and uh, you know those two months. Uh, there's a lot of celebration in February. Um, no matter you're dancing, singing for uh, festivals, or uh, it's uh, a kind of appreciation for a lot of things for your own personal life happening, uh, good things. Um, and also um, cheer up yourself uh, by putting in more um, music and singing and dancing that is the way to um, lift up your vibration your energy so uh, February is amazing month for you to um, enjoy it um, and also, well, okay, and just remind me, uh, okay, if you want, you have some wine, okay, um, notice that, uh, you know, <laughs> be, 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 be smart to make a decision whether you take wine or not, all right? Uh, but he is and just telling us um, that uh, it is time, uh, if you're really happy, if you have the true happiness within yourself, you just enjoy even, even you drinking just plain water. All right, doesn't make sense here. So uh, remember, it's not the wine to make you feel happier. It's just yourself. You are a happy person to make yourself happy. All right. So that is a true happiness here. So um, yeah, when you're just happy, even with the music, you can just you know uh, dance on your toes, isn't it? Right. So here's the month of February. A, a lot of happy vibration here. Maybe a lot of celebration. A lot of um. A kind of uh, celebration here. I just, I just feel a lot of dancing energy, happy moment. All right, so enjoy it. I, I'm, I'm very happy for that. Okay, March. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, uh, March is the month to ask yourself, after lots of celebration, what next? Uh, remember, when you ask, achieve certain kind of things, uh, our ego are boosts up. Uh, ego is part of us, doesn't mean that we have to remove it. No, ego is part of us, but also is very important for all of us here in this part of the world. So, what is your heart really asking for? What do you truly want to have? Uh, if you want to be a light worker, why you want to be a light worker? You have to you have to really ask yourself why you want to be that. Ask yourself why. Um, if you just want to help people, uh, then you know, do you need to name yourself in that way or in different ways? So understand uh, what exactly you really want to do. Um, what kind of name you name yourself? It doesn't really matter. You can name yourself as a light worker. You can name yourself as um, a, a cashier. You can name yourself as a mother. You know, um, the name, the title, is not really important actually. But what exactly the work that you are doing is the most important because what exactly on your hand is something reflecting your heart vibration. So ask yourself, what do you truly want in your life? And what I can sense the energy from angels telling me that uh, for March, it, it will be a great time for you to make a decision saying like, uh, 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 if you uh, make a commitment to do this, then that will be the time um, uh, to prepare for the rest of your life. I was saying it this way. So, um, be really make a clear uh, decision of what you truly want to do, right? Uh, okay. So, uh, here's a March here. Okay, let's see. Let's move on to April. Ah. Yoga and meditation. It's time for you to really cool down yourself here. Uh, it seems like um, we, we do need to um, uh, quiet ourselves sometimes. After lots of happy moment, a uh, celebration, it seems like we do need to uh, quiet ourselves, uh, do some exercise, yoga. Um, exercise, uh, especially like yoga, is a fantastic um, uh, exercise and including a kind of um, uh, not only breathing exercise but also is help us to connect to our own core energy so it is a brilliant idea uh, but it doesn't mean that everyone must do yoga all right so ask your heart again right back to the uh, March thing like ask yourself uh, what what is good for you so um, uh, connect to your own inner self but um, in April, surely say uh, exercise is very important thing here, and the meditation, and sometimes it's like you have to quiet yourself here. Okay. Okay. Let's see. May. Ah. So what do you truly want here? What I can sense energy here. Visualize success. Uh, so it's again asking you. Uh, well, it's reflecting to March that you can see May and March is connecting together. Uh, so, um, how can you really uh, connect um, all your energy? Uh, when you believe that you can get a successful uh, outcome, then you will get it. So, uh, again, it is a kind of practicing your belief. Uh, what do you believe? Um, if you think that you will not get it, of course you will not get it, obviously. So if you visualize that, you know, just like you have so many apples and things here, then you will just get it. Um, believe in yourself. And, and that is a perfect month for you to practice all this uh, positive psychology. Um, try to eliminate all those uh, old belief and old habits so trust and believe in a positive way angels love you so much uh, angels will give you all the things that we need uh, everything we need is provided it's always saying this way so uh, you just only have to visualize and believe and trust that all right um if you have doubt ask michael so that is the reason why michael turned up in june what i can see is here um you may have a lot of um um you know as a human sometimes we may fall backward and forward a bit all right so what can sense here energy is like okay if you are a little bit uncertain to yourself that he is energy so ask michael wow again see 
um, Michael he is trying to reassure you that is a successful favorable outcome what do you want it is a perfect result and everything is happened in the way it's supposed to be so um you can see that Michael is holding the balance so which means that everything is happened in the um, in a really um a favorable way and is is um fair to all the parties if you are involved in certain kind of legal matters if you are involved in any kind of justice uh michael he is telling you that brave and trust yourself uh you just do the best you can and the result will be favorable to you as well um everyone will get what they're supposed to have you don't have to worry uh you just have to say the player to angels talk to angels angels will uh make everything smooth smooth and easier for everyone to accept the outcome. Uh, although sometimes maybe those people that they are difficult to explain or they are stubborn or whatever reason uh, or even you are not able to communicate with but here angels is you know uh, Michael here reminding you that uh, all the outcome it is fair to everybody involved here so um everything happened um you just relax yourself uh trust and believe that michael all the angels they are here with you they will arrange the best outcome for everybody okay uh take a deep breath here because it seems that energy is high up um and um if you are asking for a lot of justice what i can really sense here um trust really trust uh, keep your faith here you're being held here so uh sometimes when you're in the ocean you just don't know what's going on uh it may be a shark underneath or it may be a dolphin underneath is trying to help you out so no matter what trust yourself and believe yourself um in the heaven angels are here with us uh angels are looking you know um oversee us and giving a lot of helping hand in different forms in on this earth planet uh it could be trying to as a kind of pet that uh, you know protecting you uh, you know we can hear a lot of story that how the dogs can protect the owner uh, how the dog loyal t you know to the owner and also you know save the family members and etc um, we have so many story that uh, suddenly a stranger can help a person you know uh, in the middle of railway you know all this kind of amazing news uh, that is not just only a miracles but it's also because when you ask angels everything is help everything you ask will be success everything you ask will be provide so you just have to do the best you can uh, remember when we do the things we have to do the way within our boundary within our own resources do the best we can and then leave the rest we cannot control the situation and we cannot control the other parties the most important is we only have to do the best is um, if you are if you are in the position of your work, you just only have to do the best that you can in your capacity. Then the other people, they will do their, their own thing. All right? We cannot control others. And we have to create space for other people to have change as well. So here's a card in Jesus really try to emphasize here. Well, nothing is coincident. Why the three different decks of cards here? That they also turn up in the same result here. You will get the good outcome here. All right? So let's come to August. Wow. Okay, uh, for the August, here is Archangel card. Let's see which Archangel turn up here. Woo! Wow. This is quite interesting. In 2015, that we can see uh, the quite, uh, you know, Ganesh and also Krishna here. It's turned up here. Find the blessing in your current situation. Uh, again, um, music is a way to help you to fine tune uh, your feeling. Uh, sometimes the result may turn up not exactly as the way that you want but remember angels are very clever and smart they always do the thing is the best for you uh, we may not understand at this point but maybe tomorrow we'll get the aha moment so we are able to understand 
So, uh, like uh, a lot of situation, we have to see beyond the physical form. Uh, Sometimes when we lose something, it could be a kind of blessing. So don't just uh, 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 you know focus and, and and just you know hold on to thing. We have to release relax and let go then we're able to accept more and more things so a lot of situation we have to understand that you know it's the whole situation what I can see here is just carry on the messages you know for these four months here uh, you have to quiet yourself and really have to focus on what do you truly want and again remember when we ask about what do we truly want we are not asking about we are asking about how much do you want, uh, what kind of job title you want. Okay, that's maybe important, but see beyond the surface. See beyond the surface. It's asking yourself what brings closer to your heart, what makes you feel happier. All right. Sometimes if you receive a lot of things, maybe you don't feel happy. How is that? All right. So believe and trust angels. Everything happens within the justice here. Okay. Now he is a September. Wow. Ah, expect a miracle here. A lot of things. Uh, it seems like it's come to a conclusion in September. Um, there's a lot of things you may ask a lot of uh, questions. You may have a lot of doubt. Uh, you may not understand a lot of things. But it seems here, angels will um able to help you to understand the things. Uh, sometime maybe after a a, a few months of struggling, <laughs> or a few months of uh, learning, and uh, maybe if you do enough of uh, own uh, self understanding, or even the you know, uh, keep on contact with your own inner self, then you're able to understand what exactly really mean about the life. Uh, again, uh, what the meaning of true happiness? What the meaning of the life? So it seems like um, all the answer is coming out uh, in September. Um, what I can feel the energy here, it will be a lot of tears, but all the tears are based on happiness. It's something maybe you work so hard for the whole year that you really come up to the answer uh, as a result, and all the truth is come out. So everything is like, woohoo, yeah. So uh, here is uh, the month that I feel a lot of energy is being released and then uh, you're going to achieve a lot of things and going to step forward about your life here so uh, Mother Ray here is telling you expect a miracle so uh, have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered so here's a card is amazing and everything you just feeling relaxed Ooh, amazing, right? Uh, I feel all this harmony energy in September here. I love it so much. Oh, wow. It's just, um, the whole energy is different here. Okay. Now, move on to October. October is a card for my mummy and loving. Ah, what's your thoughts here? So, what I can't hear is like you are going deep, deep, deep down to your own deep wisdom here. So, basically, you're trying to get touch with your inner wisdom, deeper and inner. So, what it means is like uh, you're trying to understand yourself more, you're trying to connect with your true self even deeper, and all this connection will be completely different from the other days uh, when I say completely different it means that when you know the truth then you understand a lot of the old days physical form of things it's just a myth or it's just a temporary stuff what the true happiness here is you're able to get the answer and of course what I can see here there's little fishes you know accompany you so uh, you are not alone uh, even though sometimes maybe you thought oh when you go inside your inner world it seems like a bit lonely. No, here is angels just trying to reconfirm with me that here uh, you are not alone. In fact, you are able to get a lot of wisdom, valuable things, and something is true and eternal, uh, eternal truth here, and that is the what we call true happiness and the real things. And it may be the things that you, 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 you notice that that is the thing that you truly want. So it's not just, uh, uh, you know, uh, 
temporary stuff here. Okay. Uh, okay. Now move on to November. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. November here is the time uh, is telling me that you make a decision to move on and carry on your life journey. So after you've been through a lot of things, uh, that is a time for you to carry on your journey again. Uh, it means that uh, you know sometimes like one stage after another stage. Uh, when you complete certain things, you are not to stay there. You are not to stop there. You just want to carry on your life path. And remember, our life path is never end. Uh, so life is a journey. When you pass on point then you will carry on and on forward so that is the seasons of November uh, well normally is autumn is more the country so that is a time for you to leave in something and carry on and start a new chapter of your life uh, if you are the time like you're getting marriage or things uh, it could be because it's like starting a new page of your life so if you are changing your career it may be the seasons of uh, the thing happen but uh, what I can see is like you're making a stronger commitment to your own life is making a commitment to your own life um, if you committed to on something you notice that you willing to spend more time and energy on the aspect of your life all right so um Again, unicorn is here. Uh, unicorn is came asking me that you know why don't you use my uh, unicorn card deck? But I can sense unicorn, you're here all the time. Uh, again, uh, if you interest, try to look into the story of unicorn. The story is always inspiring. Uh, so um, angels are here with you, and you are committed to yourself. Love yourself even more, and especially that is a powerful full moon in November. Uh, so that is a time for you to make a lot of closure of the past. Okay, and really start a new life, new page, and um, you know when we say you know start a new chapter, it it, it is a good thing, all right. It doesn't mean that oh you know that's it for that. No, 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 no. It could be you know just like uh, stage one and stage two and stage three, you know, just like that. Okay. Wow. Now come up to the last month of two thousand fifteen. <laughs> oh my God, we are still in January, <laughs> but we are talking about December fifteen. Uh, okay. Are you ready? Now let's look forward. Oh, yeah, guarded and protected. What can really sense the energy here? You are ready for the new life. 2016 is the time that's going to start. You know, from November and December, and you are ready to um, you know, just like you're well qualified to go out to start your own dream, uh, to really practice the thing that you truly want. Uh, be true to yourself, and you're no longer uh, uh leading by others but you just lead by your own self true to be yourself um, a lot of people will give you advice and the uh, references but at the end you are the one in charge of your own life you are the one to make a decision uh, of what to do next um, you appreciate all the past you know you've been through and you feel guided uh, uh, what next to do so you know what you do uh, uh, you know in, in, in the 2006 uh, you know 16 <laughs> wow yeah um, but remember Michael, Michael, Michael is with you and always protecting you. All right. Uh, appreciate all the past experience. All right. Uh, 2015 is quite a busy year. It seems like you need to do a lot of things here, and um, and you will achieve a lot of things here, a lot of celebration and lots of uh, you know miracles, you know happy things happening. Uh, and I would say um, it's quite satisfying year and. So um, here's the card, a new card reading for 2015. Start from uh, January, uh, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Right. So we are why in the month of January. And thank you, Ganesh. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Uh, and thank you for um this angel card and you uh you know for the two thousand fifteen year and your card reading. Um I'm be grateful and my honor to provide you all these uh, angel card reading. Um, thank you, angels, give me the energy and power to channel all this information. And I'm very honored to share with all of you about all these messages here. Uh, 
I've been lifted up by angels' energy uh, day by day, and I really appreciate and uh, thank you, angels. And I love to share all this energy with you guys, and I like to uh, channel all these angel messages to you. Uh, if you want to have your own uh, tailor-made or personalized uh, reading, I'm ready for all kind of means, uh, email, um, Skype, and anything. Uh, just feel free to check out my email and also my website, and I'm ready for your reading. Take care and enjoy the 2015! Yay!